Okay, welcome to the channel. So this video is all about this shoe here, the Nike Ultrafly Trail. So I picked the shoe up about three weeks ago. I've done loads of good runs in them, quite a few long runs well, two and a half hours. I've been on the trails, I've been in mud, in grass, um, in woods, on the road, pavement, etc., etc. I've put it through its paces. And I'm really super glad that I've actually waited quite a while to give it its full review because it is a cool shoe. It's a great shoe. There's so many good things about the shoe that I absolutely love. A few things I could change here and there, which I'll talk about later, but as a shoe itself, I absolutely love it. And the most important thing for me, if you know me, if you know my channel, if you know my feet, you know they're wide. And with these shoes here, they're nice and wide and accommodating. So we have no issues here with that nice big wide platform there, the nice big base. We have no issues with any restrictions of the foot being sort of tapered in or any toes can splay out nicely. And that for me is one of the most important things for my feet to be happy in nice wide shoes so the feet can splay out. I can even wear thick socks with these shoes here uh, and they still work. So yeah, in a nutshell, I love them. And I'll talk about why in a second. All right, so just a few stats and figures. The shoe itself, I bought it in a size UK 10 and a half, uh, and actually that fits perfectly. There's plenty of room up here. Uh, 10 and a half, it is 318 grams in that size UK 10 and a half. We have a 38 mil at the back and 30, so it's an eight mil offset, which actually doesn't seem, or well, doesn't, sounds quite bad, but it's not as bad as it sounds. And a, with a Vibra Mega Grip on the outside there, but again, I'll go into more detail, but in regards to the sort of stats of the shoe, that's, that's pretty much it. The compound in here is obviously that Zoom X material, and there's a carbon flight, there's a, there's a, uh, a, a carbon plate in the middle there as well, so it gives you a nice propulsion. Again, I'll talk about that more, but all in all, that's pretty much it. Um, so. People sort of said it's quite a hefty shoe. I actually don't think it's very heavy. 318 grams is fine. And maybe if you're coming from a road shoe to that, you might find it a bit, bit, bit chunky, but actually because of the bouncy midsole and everything, I find it, it's fine. But again, I will talk about that in one, one more second. Now, why do I like the shoe so much? As I sort of alluded to before, it's nice and wide and comfortable and accommodating. Uh, my feet have got loads of room up here to move around. It's got a super wide base as well, so it gives it offers more stability. Because it's got the Zoom X midsole there, that, that width is, is kind of crucial, but really, really nice. The, also, the good thing about the shoe is the upper is just so easy and simple. You just put your foot in there, you lace down, you've got a great lockdown, and the heel collar here, which is nice and firm and simple, it just fits to the back of the heel and it all works nicely. And there's enough cushion around there for a bit of protection. In regards to protection, there isn't much up front here. It's pretty limited, so that's one of the things I say, reason why it wasn't perfect, so it's not completely Goldilocks shoe. That and the fact that it's an eight mil drop, but this doesn't, I'll go into that in a second. But the, there's not that much protection, although it is nice and comfortable, you're, uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty exposed to any sort of hard rocks or roots that might be in the way. But there is enough protection underneath. So with the Vibra Mega Grip here, and so which is the, also the big key here, the Vibra Mega Grip underneath here, with not very aggressive lugs, but the lugs that seem to work absolutely fine for most things. To be honest, most shoes aren't gonna be great in the, in the woods when it's super muddy and wet. They just, you just gotta go through them and hope for the best. Some might, but they have their very aggressive lugs. Uh, you know, unless it's gonna be more than sort of eight mil lugs, they're all gonna be pretty much the same. But the cool thing about these ones here is the lugs, the way they're designed and they're not that deep, they just, they literally offset all the mud and the gunk once you run through and they, so it means it doesn't clog up with the mud. So that is definitely a good bonus there. But I think it's the ride of the shoe. It's, it's, the, it's that energy return, it's the, it's the pop back, it's the comfort, it's the bounce, and it's just the feel. It, it makes you wanna just keep going. You know, I've been out for runs now for sort of up to two and a half hours, and towards the end, I haven't actually felt too fatigued in the legs, and even the next day felt fine. So I think it does, yeah, I mean, my cadence is quite high, and I'm used to running in zero drop shoes, so maybe it's, you know, I sort of land quite nicely here. Ideally, I imagine what would be good if they could take some of the, uh, the beef at the back and put a little bit more at the front, maybe to make that look just a little bit lower, like a four mil drop with 34 and, and 30 here or something would be nice, or, or, or 32 there, sorry. But that's it, that's it on my gripes. Um, and in regards to drop, I don't really think you feel it too much when you're in the trails, when you're going up and down and round and round. Obviously on a flat bit of trail and road and stuff you do, but um, the eight mil drop hasn't caused any issue with my knee or my hip or anything so far or my foot. It's only been a few weeks, but it, um, it, just, seems to, it just seems to feel really nice. 
but I am still using it in conjunction almost every other day with an ultra shoe, which I think is very complementary to it. They, the juxtaposition of the two shoe companies, Ultra and Nike, they seem to work really, really well. Ironically, the Nike seem to be getting wider and the Ultra seem to be getting narrower, but that's a different story. But all in all, I think we have a really cool, really cool shoe that can handle pretty much most things. Um, road, pavement, trails, buff that trails. And the cool thing is when it does get soaking wet, it does dry out pretty quickly, um, which is quite nice. And I've been through some serious, thick, muddy puddles, but uh, it seems to dry out and just crack on with it. But um, yeah, and the Vibram grip, you know, people have sort of alluded to the fact that these wear down very quickly. And I've done quite a lot already on the, on the tarmac and the road with this shoe, getting to trails and back from trails. And I haven't seen any wear or tear at all uh, in regards to that. I find it quite a nice sort of sticky, tacky, um, and uh, grippy shoe. But mind you, it's not a cheap shoe. At 230 pounds, which I've talked about before, it's not a cheap shoe. But that said, I know that I'm already getting a lot out of it and I will use this a lot in the week. So I am getting my money's worth as opposed to spending 120 quid on a shoe that I very rarely use or it doesn't work for me, Timp 5. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the purchase. Well, I'm really pleased with the purchase. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Nike Trails, as I said before, but the Nike Ultrafly Trail, here we have it here, the Nike Ultrafly Trail, Nike Ultrafly Trail, I'm really, really impressed with. Um, so I'm just glad that I bit the bullet and went for it because it's a fun, cool shoe. And I would, well, see how it goes, but I would definitely use this on my next Ultra, um, especially if it's got some mixture between sort of pavement, road, and then trails and stuff as well, because the energy return and the bounce back you get from that lovely carbon, that lovely uh, Zoom X midsole, plus that carbon plate with the help of propulsion, plus the ease and comfort of upper. The upper, there's no, there's no overlays, or there's no hurt, there's just nothing digging in. It's just very simple. You put it on, you tie it up, you forget, and you run. So there we have it. I hope that helps. Yeah, ping me below if you've got any messages about the shoe itself, and I will get back to you in regards to that. But there we have it. Yeah, the Nike Ultrafly Trail done. So yeah, if you liked it, please get that like button and subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much. And I'll see you all very soon. Um, vloggy videos that I've been doing, I, I am still doing them, but I'm still thinking just, there's not much value in them right now because it's just the, sort of the week in, week out. But um, a few snippets of information, so I might get another one up very soon. So stay tuned for that. Okie dokie, I'll see you all very soon. Take care, that's it, bye.